All right. I don't think this is a good idea. This is going to bring some getting involved in some drama, but I'm going to do it anyways. There was this tweet by Sarah Hader. She tweeted this quote, 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 tweeting Linda Sarsour saying, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I agree, agree with Linda Sarsour. What was Linda saying? Linda Sarsour was saying, this is not okay. Well, that's actually what Linda Sarsour was quote, quote, tweeting. Uh, and that was this video by uh, Elon Omar. Let's see what she was, what's this video? So Donald Trump. Okay, so wait, let's, let's figure this out. So Sarah Hader was quote tweeting it, a tweet by Linda Sarsour. Linda Sarsour was quote tweeting a tweet by Donald Trump. Donald Trump posted a video by Elon Omar and what did this this is the famous some people did something uh, video clip let's actually watch it really quickly where's the audio hello oh there we go care was founded after 9-11 because they recognized that some people did something you have no idea right, right now. I have another one. Another plane just hit. <gasps> some people did something. Oh my goodness. There is smoke pouring out of the Pentagon. Some people did something. It just flew straight into it. So that's the only part of our speech. Care was founded after. Okay, so, um, yeah, I mean, taken out of context, I understand that the word, the, yes, okay, sl uh, not the best use of words. Some people did something, but I mean, come on. I mean, I'm pretty sure I referred to something at some point that was a horrific thing, but I referred to it as something pretty sure you could dig something like this from anybody um i mean okay it's really i think this is unfair i mean i'm pretty sure Elon omar has done so said so many other things or done so many other shit that is worth going after but this is obviously i mean in my opinion obviously not one of them the worst you could blame her here for is i mean is a, Poor choice of words, which I'm pretty sure we have all done. But if you actually listen to the entire point that she was trying to make, again, poor choice of words. But see, this is actually proof to me that not well, actually, it's an anecdote, so it's not proof, but it's a suggestion that is adds to the examples of it, not just the regressive left. Uh, policing your language because when people if people choose poor words to describe something just accuse them of that hey maybe you could use a different word to say that but what was the point she was trying to make i mean we wouldn't even know based on this clip but the entire point she was trying to make was yeah there was this terrorist horrific ter the worst terrorist attack on the united states and since i think since when since pearl harbor or even I don't know. Yeah, I think since Pearl Harbor, and um, and but so, some people did that. Well, it is something. I mean, it's a, it's a really big something, but it is something. And there were some people doing it. I mean, technically, it is some people did something, even though it sounds very dismissive when you say it like that. But um, but. A lot of um, ever since Muslims in the United States have been looked at as suspicious, and a lot of them have been looked at as a security uh, threat. And honestly, that's that's a that's a legit point, and that's a problem. Um, I mean, that has that has made life very difficult for a lot of Muslims in the United States. I mean um it's not it's not fair to most muslims the way people see them hold them responsible for the actions of um 
of terrorists, right? I mean, I say this as somebody that is very much against Islam, and I don't hold back um, about when I when when I speak against Islam. But but I mean, uh, it's really not fair to hold Muslims responsible for for their actions of you know these terrorists. I mean, Islam is one of the shittiest ideas in the world, but, you, you know, having shitty ideas is not a crime. Doing the terrorist attacks, that's a crime, right? Uh, most Muslims don't know much. I mean, I don't want to get into that. Obviously, I mean, one of the, one of my uh, missions is to fight Islam, right? And I think the way uh, Muslims are demonized in many societies makes it very difficult for us to reach to Muslims to talk to them because they see a lot of people that are because of the way that Muslims are treated in many communities again I realize that in many other places they're, they're the majority but in places where the where, where they are the minority the way that they are treated makes makes it difficult for the rest of us to have a conversation with them about their views um because i mean i just recently i went to a mosque uh, in vancouver canada because it was an open mosque day they were inviting people to come and ask them about islam and they recognized me there and one of the people one of the elder people came to me and said to me like hey these people here are nice people please don't ever come here and shoot them and I like, well, I mean, that was very unfair to think that a critic of Islam, like they're putting us with, apparently with the news. I mean, that's very unfair way to look at somebody that is a critic of Islam. So I wanted to be angry, but instead of being angry, I felt kind of sad for the band because he's genuinely scared, right? Like how I don't want anybody to be that freaking nervous. Like that's so sad that that that's the level of fear that this guy has to deal with. That thinks that critics of Islam, I mean, this is partly uh, the fault of the regressive left that puts all the, that makes Muslims think that critics of Islam are uh, biggest, like are so bad that the, all of them could be a potential uh, you know, terrorists or something that could come shoot Muslims one day. Like, I mean, the, some of the fear that these Muslims are going through is partly responsible. The regressive left is responsible for it. But I wanted to correct him and say, like, hey, how is that different from other pe Like, you thinking I'm a critic of Islam, so I, you're scared of me that I might be a security threat to you. How is that different from people thinking that every Muslim is a potential terrorist, right? But I didn't correct him because I genuinely felt that, Jesus, this guy is terrified, like, poor guy. Um, and I was like, no, don't worry, man. <laughs> just like, I, mean, I just wanted to calm him down. But, <laughs> but I mean, um, I mean, if we think it's unfair, so, for example, I had, a, I had just recently had my, uh, a, my, a, my speaking, uh, event at the University of Can uh, Calgary cancelled because I'm a critic of Islam, there was a New Zealand attack, and they're like, yeah, maybe not. So, and I think that's unfair because, like, critic of Islam doesn't mean, like, what the hell? Why are you, why are you putting us in the same category? Like, we just say these ideas are bad, and you're just, like, just connecting these two together. But if we, we can't be hypocrites. If we think that um, you shouldn't generalize like this you sh that, that's just stupid to do that then we should also admit that you know it's also a problem that a lot of people see a lot of people see a lot of muslims as potential security threats and that's not really fair and treat them like potential security threats just because they're muslim and that's not fair and that was the point that she was making and she was making the point that this happened ever since 9-11. And that's true. I mean, I'm pretty sure there, uh, there's a lot that she says that I would be like, yeah, I, I can't agree with that. I'm pretty sure that my views on Islam, which is a cancer, which is a disease that this planet has been infected with, is not going to be agreeable to any Muslim, right? 
Uh, well, uh, I think. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but um, but on this, I agree with her. I mean, the po- the choice of you have to, the point. You have to listen to the point that she was trying to make, rather than how she said it. The point you have to be listening. Like you have to be genuinely be charitable to do, instead of worrying about the phrasing. Be like, okay, what was the actual point here? Okay, the phrasing, the way, if you think the phrasing was poor, okay, fair, just say the phrasing was poor, but don't misrepresent the point. You know what the point was something else. The point, and the point is something that I agree with, okay? The point is that, well, I mean, her solution is care. I don't agree with that. But the fact that that's a problem um, is, is true. It's a true. It's a, it's true. It's a it's a problem, the way a lot of people see all Muslims as threats, um, and and e- even if you're somebody that like me wants to fight Islam, you have to know that demonizing a community like that makes it harder for you to fight that idea because the the best way to fight Islam is to reach out to Muslims. The best way to reach out to Muslims is to befriend Muslims. It's really hard for you to befriend Muslims if you treat them all like a security threat. So this this video is obviously just trying to like scare the shit out of people. I mean, um, and it worked. Oh my God, look at this. good 94,000 retweets. Um, and it just, it's just a stupid tweet, I think. I mean, obviously um but it works and so what did linda sorcerer say i may am i gonna agree with her as well this can be all right by the way i've been i've been retweeted by both linda sorcerer and tommy robinson i don't know what you make of that but that's weird anyway so is linda said this is not okay and it's dangerous true whether you want to admit it or not, this stokes even more hatred and incitement against a congresswoman. True. I mean, it did. Like, th- a few days after this, she got so- she started getting death threats, didn't she? So, this prediction was correct. Wait, do you have to capitalize a... Con- Is that right? I think this... Okay. Anyone with basic sense would know these words were taken out of con- context. Speak up. Um, I mean, I'm pre- again, Linda Sorcerer, I'm pretty sure there's there's a million things that she has said that I would disagree on. But this is not one of them. This is true. And this is what Sarah said. Sarah said, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I agree with Linda Sorcerer here. Yeah, I agree with Sarah. She got so much shit for this, by the way. But let's see what she she says after. Then she continues and saying, wait, is this recording? Oh, yes, yeah, recording. Um, then she says, without a doubt, Elon Omar used clumsy phrasing. She's frequently a thoughtless and provocative communicator. But to paint her comments as an attempt to downplay the attack is unfair and very likely does place her in danger. I agree. Wait. All right, then she continues. To me, it seems she was trying to emphasize that one innocent group, Muslims, is paying for the crimes of different groups, terrorists. This is common view among Muslims who do not see terrorists as true Muslims. Therefore, they feel that terror is unrelated to their faith. I would actually go... I would actually say that I, if you actually change this a little bit, I would agree with the point because I see that the terrorists are Muslims. They are true Muslims. But even if they're true Muslims, most Muslims should not be responsible for the crimes of the terrorists, even if they are true Muslims. Um, Then, let me see. Am I in the right place? Yeah. Okay. Then she continues saying, "As uh, as an aside... I agree that Muslims yeah, I agree that Muslims being held accountable for terror is manifestly unjust. Oh, so she clarifies that exactly what I was saying. This is collective blame and it is 
a cornerstone of bigotry. However, I think Muslim community is in grave denial about relationship between their religion and violent extremism. That's it. That's exactly right. So what you could blame the Muslim community for is their ignorance on the relationship between Islam and these terror attacks. I mean, most Muslim, most of the Muslim community. Some of them do admit it, to be fair. Um, you can't blame them for these terrorist attacks. You can blame them for denying the relationship between Islam and these terrorist attacks, which is a which is still legit, but it's a much milder um, allegation, right? Then and and people say, well, if people think that people don't hold Muslims accountable for the terrorist attacks. No, they do. It's, it's a big problem. It, it's a big problem. People do believe in collective punishment. It's, uh, and it is, you have to admit that this is a huge problem. And tweets like this um, doesn't help. So, what, where was I? However, even as someone who is deeply and personally aware of the flaws in the Muslim community, this attack on Omar is plain dishonest. I agree. Exactly the kind of offense um, ar what? archaeology that is destroying our discourse. Worse still, it puts her in real danger of violence. And it puts, I think it also puts a lot of other Muslims in uh, danger of violence. Okay, this is this is the last part. I think I'm going to disagree with Sarah a little bit. Uh, Sarah says we have to stop this. We have to stop twisting words. We have to stop digging through footage to own others. We have to stop editing clips to uh, sculpt villains out of real complex people. This is seriously ugly politics, and and it will end when we hold our our own tribes to account. Um, okay, so this part, I just think that uh, it's not. This is not going to end. This is. This has been part of politics for since politics was ever a thing. Um, I think if the um, the so I agree with all the points above. I just and I agree that this would be an ideal thing that w could that we could that. I wish could happen. I just think that, sorry, I just think if you want to recommend something to people, uh, just recommend something that is more, you know, realistic, more, something that could, uh, we can achieve, right? Because, so the second part I agree with, like we have to hold our own tribes account to account, right? So um, this is what we're doing right now. We're uh, especially when we talk to uh, critics of Islam, right? Uh, that this is not this 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 is not okay, um, but I don't think that the goal should be to we have to stop this because this is I think unachievable. Uh, what what is more likely achievable is to tell people how what to do when they see stuff like this, right? And we can we can never I mean. I don't think we are going to be able to stop it. What we are going to be able to do is to reduce the effect of s stuff like this by how we react to it. Like, I don't think that you are going to be able to, we have to, like, okay, we have to stop digging through footage to own others. Well, this stuff is, I think the, a better recommendation would have been we have to hold accountable, like we have to respond to people that do stuff like this, because stuff like this will happen, right? So I think the recommendation should be what Sarah did right now uh, when she saw something like this. That should be also the recommendation to other. Then when you see stuff like this, call it out as bullshit, even if it's happening from the people. Um, I mean, this well, this guy is not on our tribe, but even if it does happen from people that are in your tribe, call it out. But yeah, I mean, we have, like, who are you asking Sarah here to stop doing this? Are you asking Trump to stop doing this? Because I'm pretty sure he's not going to see this. Like, um, who is we? 
I think we have to just call it out. That would be a better recommendation. But every, but overall, I I love this. Thank you, Sarah, for posting this. I think Sarah, like when she gets she gets a lot of reactions to this, and I think she it really does hurt her when she sees a lot of people that she respects attacking her for it. And I you know I feel sad that she, she takes it so you know I don't know what to do uh, because when she when she when she is on Twitter, she posts a lot of great things. But then she gets so discouraged and then we lose her for a long time. Um, if you see like if you see people attacking her, kind of like post something to encourage her to so that she sees that she has at least more people. I don't know. I wish mean, Sarah, it's, this is just don't don't go away if people are attacking you. OK, like just stay stay around these. We need more stuff. We need more more stuff like this. Anyways, so what I want to point to is then when Majid um posted saying i agree with sarah um which is good um by the way I, every time i agree with majid on something and somebody there's that one person that like but armin majid is a reformer and you you disagree with islamic reform as if like you can't disagree with people on, on something and disagree with them on s something else like yeah people that's possible okay there's um there's probably 90% of Majid's view that I um, that I agree with, um, you know, just because that one thing that gets highlighted the most, which is Islamic reform that I constantly talk about, this doesn't mean there's not a million other things that he pushes for that I also want to push for. Like, it's possible for you to disagree with somebody and agree with other points at the same time. I don't understand why people so always want to call me out on that whenever I agree with something some one of these reformers say but Majid does a lot of great work I mean we all owe Majid a lot even though I disagree with anyway that's another point um Yasmin is saying so Yasmin got uh, responded to Majid saying you think it's dangerous to criticize Omar I mean I mean come on who said that so Majid is agreeing with Sarah and then Yasmin is starting by saying, so she's she's responding to Majid by saying, really, you think it's dangerous to criticize Omar? But where, where did she say that? Where did she say that we shouldn't criticize Omar? Like, honestly, uh, I mean, I support Yasmin and every, a lot of the things that she does. So, but this, this is, uh, again, you could agree and disagree at the same time but this tweet doesn't make sense to me do you also think it's dangerous to criticize the president see islam who said that but who said it's dangerous to criticize omar so sarah said it's dangerous okay linda okay so linda saying it's dangerous whether you want to admit it or not yeah it was dangerous because it, uh, the congresswoman is now getting death threats. so it was dangerous but it's not it wasn't dangerous because we're criticizing omar like the, uh, it's a huge mischaracterization of what's being said here nobody's saying we shouldn't criticize omar in fact she did criticize omar without a doubt Elon omar used clumsy phrasing here so see yes i'm saying like you think it's dangerous to criticize omar as if sarah is as if Sarah is suggesting that we shouldn't criticize Omar. But look, Sarah is criticizing Omar here, and she's criticizing Omar here. Where is it? She is frequently a thoughtless and provocative communicator. There, more more criticism of Omar. Uh, so these are criticism of Omar. So Sarah is not suggesting that. This is a very unfair way of describing what she's saying. What things are... Uh, Okay, then she continues, Yasmin continues, what things are allowed to criticize and what things are dangerous? Again, no, uh, she's saying as if we're saying we're not allowed to criticize Omar. Nobody is saying that. Who will make the list? Seriously, I believe criticism should never be silenced and I thought you did too. All right, nobody is saying, nobody is suggesting criticism should be silenced. Who's suggesting that? Who is suggesting that? Also, responding to criticism with another criticism is not silencing of criticism. I think that's pretty obvious, but I can't believe we have to make that point. Sarah actually responds to Yasmin. 
Yes, uh, Sarah is saying, yes, man, that's not fair. It's not. Criticizing her is not the problem. Exactly. The video of our president um, tweeted to his 60 million followers is highly edited. Why is there stars around president? Is this another version of quote unquote? Because, he, I mean, we have to be. Why is this star around? What does this mean? Because I hope it's not quote unquote because he is the president, whether you like it or not. The video of our president tweeted to his 60 million followers is highly edited, totally decontextualized with a, men a menacing soundtrack and a 9-11 footage. That was not criticism. That was, uh, what is this word? I don't know this word. Okay. I don't know this word. Let me see. Hold on. Agitprop. Agitprop. Propaganda. Okay. Um, I mean, okay, fair, fair point, Sarah. But even if it was, I mean, it was criticism. It was just bad criticism. And even if it was, what is it again? Agitprop. Agitprop. Sarah uses big words. She's very smart. But um, even if it was agitprop, um, still nobody's silencing that either you're just calling it out because Yasmin is saying it's being silenced it's not being silenced it's just being called out um you think it's dangerous to criticize Omar yeah nobody said that okay but it is it is criticism. I mean, I don't understand. It's just bad. It's just a, I don't know. That's just getting too nitpicky, I guess. Tim is saying there is no partner, uh, partis partisanship here. Okay, Tim actually supporting Sarah. And Sarah, I think I feel like she needed it. Look, she's saying it's been a rough day. Thank you for this. Thank you, Tim, for supporting her. I think Sarah needs more support. Everybody watching this, when Sarah tweets something next time, just go show her a lot of love. Because we lost her. Look, look. We lost her for a long time again now. Look. Well, today was an extra painful. Adios, Twitter. Oh, no. See, every time Sarah says something, we get a lot of, I think, good points. But now we lost her again. We can't, we can't keep losing Sarah all the time, every time, you know, after people attack her on Twitter. So next time Sarah is trying to make a point, please do what Tim did here and go show her a lot of support. Sarah had more tweets after this. She said, what if someone did this to Majid or Ryan, uh, clipped out their words, then played them in such a fashion to elicit an emotional response. In fact, we know that's happened and it's egregious and likely increases their security concern, except this time it's the president sharing it. Okay, but here's another thing. I don't think um, I don't think that the security concerns is the main reason why I'm against this tweet because you get security concerns even if you if even if people criticize you and they have a point. Uh, I mean, l l okay, just I'm, I might be wrong here, but just. I just think that the main the main reason why this tweet was wrong is because it's just so unfair. But I don't should we hold people responsible for the security concerns? I don't know actually. Because because sometimes like let's say what if the what if the criticism was correct and she still got security concerns from from a criticism that actually was alleged criticism. Then would we hold them responsible as well? I don't know. I mean, I'm just thinking out loud. Sorry, I'm gonna stop because of the background noise. Jeez, that fire truck took forever to leave. Anyways, what I'm saying is that the the problem with this tweet is that it doesn't make any sense. It's not. I mean, if we're if we're saying that you shouldn't post this because it will give you security concerns, then if the criticism was correct and it ended up in security concerns. Will we still hold you responsible? Because then, I guess, I think the side effects are 
not a legit reason to tell people not to post not that they shouldn't have posted something i think the fact that it doesn't make i think the fact that it is just pure fear mongering and no credible arguments in there that's why you should tell people that they shouldn't have posted something yeah does that make sense i just maybe i'm wrong i don't know uh, except this time it's the pre president. Maybe I just think, I think maybe she's also pointing to the fact that if your audience, you know, this is a Spider-Man quote, big, with big power, uh, with great power comes great responsibility. So I guess somebody that has a lot of followers maybe has to think a little bit more before they post something. Um, I obviously don't think it's dangerous to criticize Omar. Okay, but actually this is brings up an, an interesting point. What if it was dangerous to criticize Omar, even if your criticism was correct? Then would you would you stop criticizing people? Like if they get security threats from you actually pointing out to something that is legit? I don't know, let me know. What do you think? Comment section. Uh, I did so in the very... Yeah. See, this is what I was saying. She's saying, I did so in the very threat you are reacting to. Oh, okay, so I guess the... Stars are emphasis, not. But why? Why would you have it for the president? All right. Um, oh, I see what she was saying. The president. So where is it? Go back. So I guess. Where's the stars? So she was saying the pres. Like it's kind of like uh, it's uh, like bold, like shouting. All right, I get it. So she's like, it's the president. Like it's coming from that account. Like you have to be. A lot more responsible with your tweets, given how important your tweets are. But I guess okay. Counterpoint: uh, Given how many people know how ridiculous Trump tweets are, maybe it doesn't have that much of a power. Actually, no, never mind. I'm just gonna take back my point. He has six million followers. That's a lot of people that do take him seriously. I was uh, so okay. I did so in the very thread that you are reacting to. Yeah. So Yasmin is saying. Are you, are you honestly suggesting that uh, um, we shouldn't criticize Omar, but the tweet that Yasmin is reacting to is a tweet that Sarah actually criticized Omar, so write in those tweets, so it doesn't make any sense what Yasmin is saying. I was specifically referring to the nasty way the president did it, yes. So she's not saying don't criticize Omar, she's just saying this is not the right way to do it. And not only did it not help, if anything, Omar is now a bigger hero victim for the left. Yeah, she is now. A lot of people... Yeah. This is exactly how you create victims. But wait, there was some other responses to her tweets that I wanted to respond to that I thought it was very unfair. Let me see, let me see, let me see. How long are we losing her? Please don't go. I need this. Oh, yeah. Just for a while. Good. Thank you, whoever you are. Where is the tweet that I wanted to point to? Oh, here. Claire Voltaire. Actually, Claire is somebody that I admire. So let's see what she had to say here's the thought so Claire is qu quote tweeting Sarah here's the thought you could just write your own thoughts on the matter without amplifying promoting a pernicious anti-semite like Luxor Sor a person who brought the most toxic politics into our mainstream via the women's march there are thousands better to take that better takes than this i mean she's mm. so wait does that mean that anybody that quote tweets donald trump to point something that they might like if somebody quote tweets trump and says like i usually disagree with trump but on this point i agree with him they shouldn't do that because now they're amplifying his voice i mean that come on that's a very high that's a very i don't know i don't think that so that way we can't point to anybody I mean, this is, this is a kind of regressive leftist attitude, though. Again, this is, I know Claire is not part of the regressive left, but this is, again, what we tell, what we say they do about, like, oh, we should just 
not even touch the people uh, or talk about or give give a platform to or even highlight the people that we disagree with because it's just going to promote them and amplify them. I mean, even the worst people sometimes make good points. I think it's fair to point it out. You think that if some people that have shitty ideas, if you point out when they have ideas that is correct, then you're actually amplifying those other ideas that they are that are not correct. I mean, that's a very that's if you have that standard, it's going to be very hard to talk about anybody. Um, I don't. I really don't think that's fair. Um, let me see what Sarah. Maybe Sarah has a better response to this than I have. Sarah is saying, I did not mindlessly art, uh, retweet Sarsar. I pointed. Oh, is this showing? Yeah. I pointed to the part I agree with. Exactly. And wrote in my own th thoughts. I also make my feelings of Sarsar and Omar very clear in that thread. We have to be able to acknowledge when even people we dislike get something right. Yeah, I mean, I think. And I think Sarah actually did it very responsibly because, like, because this is really not promoting somebody when you start by saying, I can't believe I'm I'm saying this. This is clear indication that you're saying that I usually disagree with Linda Sorsor. So this is very unfair to point this as promoting Linda Sorsor if you're saying, I can't believe I'm saying this. This is a clear indication to whoever is discovering this tweet that Sarah is usually against Linda Sorsor. Like, how, how more clear can this be? Then, let me see. Then Claire says something else. Huh. Remember that time with Linda Sarsour was attacking Ayan Hirsi Ali, the Muslim refugee who spoke against Islam, the one who still has threats threats on her life. Yeah, I do. Okay, well, if by if we're going by your standard, now Omar has threats on her life. So, so what now? Now. Is that if we go by your standard, have to support everything Omar says? I guess I don't know. Like, what what are you trying to say? Well, what's the point you're making here? It doesn't. This doesn't negate anything Sarah said. Sarah has a better response probably to this. If Linda Sorcer said some horrible, those same horrible things about me, let me make sure. You, yeah, um, I me okay. This, uh, I would still not hesitate from agreeing with her when I felt it made sense. Yeah, exactly. Like, for example, like Ali Rizvi and I, for example, we had this guy, Daniel Heigatju, on our show. And we were very, we were very, uh, we were very friendly with him, right? And he's, this is the guy that thinks that under an Islamic state, me and Ali should be put to death. Okay, and not only we are friendly with him, there are some things that he said that we agreed. For example, when Daniel Hayegadju criticizes Imam Tawhidi on some things that he says that are not Islamic in any way, I'm saying, yeah, Daniel Hayegadju has a point. That's not Islamic. There's nothing in Islam that supports what Imam Tawhidi is saying there. And Daniel Hagaju is somebody that if he gets his way, he would put me to death, right? And I'm agreeing with him on some points. I mean, these two things can happen at the same time. Um, so Sarah is saying, if Linda Sorcerer said, okay, I read that part already. Um, and I cough at the assumption that for some reason I do not care about Ayan. Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty bad... No, that's very f unfair suggestion, Claire. Come on. You do not know what she means to me. Yeah, come on. You don't... You, you know, this is a... You're, t you're making things personal instead of actually trying to make a point and tell her why she's wrong. You're just trying to, like, using... This is not... This is playing with people's emotions. And it's not fair. This is not a fair way of criticizing someone's views. I, 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 I mean... I just don't think so. You're really accusing her of not caring about Ayan because she just pointed out that there's one thing that Linda said that she agrees with. That's not fair. Anyways, I'm going to stop it here. Claire, sorry. I hope you still... Are you following me? Yeah, please don't get upset. 
I'm just pointing out that I disagree with you, okay? I admire a lot of what you post, but this is not one of them, okay? All right, Sarah, please come back soon. How long this is going to last, I don't know, but hopefully we'll get you back soon. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.